about a game. It's a red skin. What is going on, peeps? What is going on? It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles Grand Rising. Good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are. And today, and if you're here, I should say, you're at the Daily Tea. So I've got Deep, Dark and Dangerous Oracle. I've only ever used it once. And I, I'll be honest, I don't know too much about this book, but I do read the book sometimes. But this one... It's on the dark side, <laughs> as you can probably guess. And the images are, are fantastic. So let's see what comes out today and see what messages spirits have for us. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Guides, beloved ancestors who love us unconditionally, please give us the message for our highest good, as above, so below, as within, so without. Thank you and amen. And we're going to give it the power of free one more time. And let's get a card out. So what messages do you think is going to come out today? Your business is with the mind because I've got no agenda, nothing on the mind. So let's see what spirit has for us. So let's have a look. The journey. Purse phone. I don't know what that means, but it says the journey. Let's have a look at this picture. It looks like, it's like Anson and Gretel, isn't it? It's like you're about to beat the eat the forbidden fruit and there's somebody in the background it's almost like the <laughs> first phone it's almost like you've opened up into a new world but there's somebody steady watching you i have to look at this card good because it says the journey here are you on the journey it says number 16 deep are you on a journey and you're just the pure innocent one. And there's somebody in the background who's looking a bit like the Phantom of the Opera. Can you see that? That's fantastic. Why are they watching you? And this person looks like they've even got a mask on. Who is watching you like this? We've got to figure out what this is all about. It's number 16 and it's the deep card. I think there's three different types here. I'll tell you what they are in a, mid in a minute. But it tells you the story deep. So there's deep, there's dark, and there's dangerous. Okay. And this is one is about the deep. So let's have a look about number 16. What's it say about number 16? This is something else it's actually quite a long explanation but i'm only i'm going to try and cut it down so it says purse phone the journey number 16 to rise to get what you wish to go to rise to get where you wish to go is a process and a journey whilst catholics to change can appear overnight transformation really does be patient there is a season for everything work with the cycles the seasons the moon the sun there is a time for introversion extroversion growth and stillness but do you notice in this picture the snake is a is actually an added version is the snake is this person the snake why is this here there's a story here and i don't know if i want to go into it because it's quite long but i want to get the final the um the outreaching idea here is to is about the journey of the change of the seasons. We see how winter is death and rest and spring is renewal and growth and summer brings all to peak fruition that transforms again into the traction of autumn. Change and transition are everywhere and constant. We see the natural cycles as equally important. There are times to feel introverted and extroverted, energetic and restful, happy and sad. None are better than the other. So the plant companion is the pomegranate and the crystal com companion is the garnet. Green is about prosperity, it's about forward movement, isn't it? The garnet is always going to be green, isn't it? And this is what it's got, a tinge of green in this card. But do you see that? Are you on the journey? And sometimes it feels like you're not getting anywhere. And sometimes you have this spurt of growth and sometimes you need to rest. I'm one of those. I'm going to tell you straight off. You know, once you're on this journey, it's a journey. It's a difficult journey. But sometimes you just have to rest because you're picking up. If you do tarot like me and you do personal readings, because by the way, I do personal readings. Um, sometimes you pick up so much energy and so much of it is some of it can be quite nasty. It's that you have to rest. You have to recharge your batteries. You have to 
gain momentum all over again. And this could be a part of that, is that sometimes you need to rest. You need to know when to rest. You need to know when to move forward. That's an interesting card. I'm going to pull some cards on that and see why that is here. Look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, the three-headed dog. And this is number nine, deep guardians. Oh, it's spirit telling you they're with you. The spirit telling you that with you. But let's have get some cards up and figure out why this is here. Why is this here? The journey. Are you on the journey? Holy Spirit, holy angels. I'm not going to draw this out because that was enough as it was. I could have read the whole story because there's a story behind this card. But it's a couple of pages long and I don't know if we've got the patience for that. So this is why I only gave you a little bit. But it's about a journey through the seasons. It's about what is happening in each season and this journey. If you're in winter season, it is rest, it is recuperation, it is it is stagnancy. But you know the minute we overall winter and spring hits in and you get that growth spurt when the daffodils come out. I always think about I always think about spring as daffodils. Don't you? I don't know. It depends on your country, I guess. I guess, but it's all about the growth. About you see the trees starting to sprout new branches and new new shoots and stuff like that. And then when you go into summer, it's like everything blossoms, everything blooms, everything comes out, everything is just happy and gay with the sunshine. And then we go into autumn when things start dying off again. So. What is your season? Where are you in your journey? Let's figure out why this card is here. I could ramble on forever. But where are you on your journey? So, the very first card is the King of Pentacles. Wow. What's going on here? Are you steady making that money? Are you steady being that stable person? But you're having to be in your masculine energy. Or you are masculine. I don't know. But look. Oh... But you're watching something. I don't know what you're watching. But look, we've got the... F oh, you're watching. Oh! <laughs> you can't make this up. Oh, my goodness. The Four of Rods is the Four of Wands, which is... And there's the High Priest. The High Priest. Wow. Okay. So, so far, we've got a King of Pentacles. Somebody who's stable, reliable, who's a leader, who... Do you know, it is just, you know, this could be you, a matriarch in a masculine energy. Now, is it that you're about making your pentacle and you're just on that tip at the moment? So you're in your masculine energy. I don't know. But look. Oh. <laughs> now, I could tell two stories here. This is somebody in a spiritual sense, you're definitely on the journey. You are choosing to look after yourself. You're choosing to to keep, you know, to do your money thing, to think about your money, but you're watching something very carefully. Are you watching something carefully or somebody watching you carefully? I don't know, but it's in reference to a twin flame soulmate situation, the ultimate happiness here. We've got the high priest. Again, somebody who's actually walking in silence, who sees the hidden image. You know, this could be, I'm not sure in this deck. I have a feeling that the high priest is the equivalent to the high priestess, but somebody is cut off game is strong. Now, if I was going to do this in other news, there is a king of pentacles who is watching somebody intently because they realize who this person is to them. Have they realized? But they're walking in silence. Are they actually planning their attack? Not their attack. I mean, when I say attack, I mean, is somebody actually just watching and waiting for the right time? Because unfortunately, somebody has cut them off. Somebody's cut them off. But in a spiritual sense, this is... Um, you on your spiritual journey, you going for your ultimate happiness, you realising that it's people that you need to release, there's things you need to release, there's things you need to stop. And you're walking in silence with whatever you're doing. What's at the bottom of the deck? The two of pentacles. Choices. Balance. Four of pentacles. Withholding. Is there a choice that you've made to withhold or to release from certain things? Because, again, here is the page. I keep getting the page come up, the page of swords, somebody watching the situation, because they want to come forward to you. But is your cut-off game strong? Is that what it is? Your cut-off game is no, no joke. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Your cutoff game is no drop. I'm trying to... Oh! I spun you around. I'm trying to straighten this thing out. I'm sorry, people. I'm trying to straighten this thing out, but it's like, it's doing the wonky thing. Uh, there you go. Sorry, people. I'm trying to straighten it out, but it's just not having it. Why is it not having it? Okay. I don't know if that's straight now. I don't know. I can't tell. Anyway, I'm sorry about that. Yes. Somebody is feeling like you're withholding from them. But it could be just you balancing yourself out or you're balanced, you're balanced enough to withhold from this person because you know what they're all about and all they can do is watch you. Because really what this person wants to do is come forward to you and, and um, give you the love that you want. But when I see the Knight of Cups, this is for me, it's the here and now person. It's the flirt. It's somebody who is kind of like... Dare I say, wishy-washy, but they see you as the gift. They see you as the gift, as the person that's the loving and caring person. But the problem is you're actually learnt discernment. So this person is strategizing because of the choices they made. Did they pick, did they pick shit? Because they did. Here's the karmic. They, here's the karmic. And now either you've put this to death or they are actually put in a situation to death. Because it was nothing but conflict for them. Wow. They want to come forward to you as the matriarch, as this stable, reliable person. They want to come forward to you as good news. I keep getting this message. But are you on your journey? You're on your journey. And does someone want to distract you from your journey? Because if you don't know, and I'm going to explain this, if you really are on a twin flame soulmate journey, Yes, it's love that brought you together, but you have to do your separate journeys and come back together. You have to do your separate journeys. And this person is not going on their journey. This person is just steady watching because they should be on their own journey. They should be on their own realisation. They should be on their own tip, their own purpose, not steady watching you. So therefore, this person hasn't changed or this person finds it hard to change. Whoever this person is to you, but you're steady on your journey. And this is why this is here. This is the perfect card because somebody's got a face on who's watching you. Do you know what I mean? While you're on this journey, and that could be a pomegranate instead of an apple because it did say that in the text, didn't it? But purse phone, purse phone, that's a weird net. I don't, I, you know, I'm going to have to look that meaning up because that is, it didn't mention it in the book, but I didn't really read all of it. But do you see that you're on your journey and your season? Do you see it's almost like looking like summer and that door is opened, but somebody's in their winter, stagnant. Somebody's in their winter just steady watching you. They're just stagnant. This is this word of stagnant again. But do you see like the water down there? They're in their emotions though. It could be anger. It could be that they're upset. It could be that they thought, do you know, they had a face on. Somebody's definitely got a face on there. It's a, such a, a revealing card. I could keep going with this card. But you're in white. You're on your journey in your purity, trying to find the truth, trying to find your purpose, trying to find your way. And somebody steady watching you doesn't want you to move on. It's stagnant in all this. They just don't like change. So they can, their stagnancy is trying to hold you back, but nothing can hold you back because spirit is with you, protecting and guiding you and assisting you on your journey. Wow. I'm tempted to read the last bit of that. The, the rest of the book, the rest of what was this text was about this book, because that is a story. I'm going to have to read it. I'm sorry, people. I mean, I know if you got this far, I'm going to have to read it, people, because that is something else. Number 16. Let's go back to number 16, because I'm telling you, there's a story behind why this card is here. And I could describe it all day long, but it says here, duality to stay to go remain or transform the tale of the purse phone is one of the most well-known ancient myths of the western civilization purse phones kidnapping by hades and her de her descent into the underworld and the consequences of her mother demeter's grief is an ir iconic story of change and growth after falling in love with purse phone from afar hades goes to his brother zeus the leader of all the gods for permission to marry her 
Zeus says yes and agrees that he will speak to Persephone's mother, Dementor, goddess of the architecture and the seasons and the girl herself. Zeus forgets. Zeus forgets time passes. Hades gets impatient and Zeus is hard to find, so he seizes Persephone while she is simply picnicking with friends and takes her down to the underworld. Dementor searches for her missing da daughter across the earth and cannot find her. In her grief, she stops helping the plants to grow. The winter becomes poor and all ar architecture. Agriculture dries up. The race of humans then suffers a great famine and many are dying. Meanwhile, Persephone is frightened by the audacity of the kidnapper and the underworld itself, yet she is treated with respect. Hades wishes to marry her and thus offers her a queendom. And with this, she will become the cult ruler of the realm of the underworld and the dead. She will become powerful and a wife. As she is not dead and still has worldly needs, she is also offered food. A juicy pomegranate. There you go. A juicy pomegranate with ruby and red seeds is given to her. But what she doesn't realise is that if she takes food while in the underworld, she will be part of that world and has to stay. Up above on the earthly plains, men cry out for help to Zeus and he hears. He asks Dementor to give the earth its his facility again, but she refuses until Perspons can be found. By this time, some other gods know who took her, so Zeus goes to Hades to negotiate. Dementor demands her daughter return outright, but there is an issue now. Perspons has taken the food. She has eaten six pomegranate seeds and, to, to, and so must stay with Hades. Zeus brokers a deal so that for six months, Persephone will stay with Hades and be his queen. The other six months, after journeying up from the underworld, she will spend with her mother on the Earth's surface. She is escorted up through the darkness by her friend Hecates, the torchbearer who illuminates the way. This is clearly a complex story with many themes, but one is that it is the story of cycle and transformation, life stages and the struggles and triumphs of this journey. For example, in ancient Greece, when a young woman was married, she left childish things behind, left home and joined the family of her husband. Her birth family were both sad and happy at this, and there was often a period of adjustment for the bride. Although losing her identity and freedom as a maiden, the bride is made queen of her new home and has responsibility for her realm. With this birth of children, the cycle repeats. So... This is the story behind this card and it makes sense now. So it's almost like half of the time she's on this, on her journey. It's like a journey, isn't it? All through the seasons. She spends six months with this person and six months with her mother. And because she's eaten this thing, it's almost like she has no choice in the matter. It's almost like, it's like a journey in itself. Anyway, I'm going to stop it now because I've gone way too long with this one. But... Please subscribe, hit the alert bell so you know when you get, I'm going to do another video because it gets deep. And if you're interested, I do extra content on um, um, Patreon and I also do personal reading. So get into it, people. Until next time, take care. <laughs>